2023 is looking to be an incredibly different year for Halo. As it kind of felt like most of us kind of dragged our way through 2022, getting our little crumbs and drips of content throughout the entirety of the year. But all that is going to be changing this year. As you can tell by the channel, I've been covering every little bit of Halo news over the past couple years. Everything from updates to leaks to content drops and everything in between. So in this video, I wanted to cover if 2023 is going to be a boom or a bust for Halo Infinite. So if you like this type of videos, make sure you tap that like button that's the best way to help out the video in the channel subscribe for more content and make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details well, let's start this video off with some information about an xbox presentation which is going to be obviously tied to halo which is saying that jess corden who's a known insider very credible saying my vague rumor that there's going to be an xbox event in early 2023 and it's starting to look quite true obviously with halo infinite being an xbox studio title we'll likely get some information probably more gaslighting season three content and what's currently available within halo infinite but maybe setting some light expectations of what to see for the rest of this year of course once i get some information about this presentation guys i'll share with you guys here on the channel i know many of us are hungry for some halo content but one way to satiate that hunger is try traits Com. There you can explore beyond your borders what tasty snacks other countries are enjoying. Such countries like France, Croatia, Korea, Australia, South Africa, Canada, Mexico, and so many more. Tri Treats has been a long time sponsor of the channel here guys and they've been showing some great support for us and this time they actually sent a box of mixed candies from different locations throughout the world. So you can get more than just a specific location. You can just go with the mixed bag and well get a little bit of everything across the world. So if you're looking to broaden your snacky borders or missing one of your favorite treats from the country you used to live in trytreats.com has got you covered if you're interested check out the link in the pinned comment down below guys and if you're looking to subscribe to one of their boxes use code kevin coolx to get 15 percent off your first purchase when you do it helps support the channel as well do not falter victory is at hand if you have any questions check out their links in the description of this video as well for their socials and thank you trytreats.com for your support and let's get right back into the video here honestly guys for the month of january i don't really expect to see a lot happen for halo here's the first four months of updates that came to halo infinite after the launch of the game as you can see not a whole lot happening and even during the month of january when btb broke in early december december 9th is when btb broke they put out their first attempt to fix it in january 19th though this does make sense as 343 and most game companies take the end of the year off kind of filter back in throughout january January's a bit of a slow month, and so I wouldn't like to see a whole lot changing, but towards the end of January is when we could get some juicy news. As stated in the end of the year blog, saying that we could see a full list of changes coming to the maps of like Argyle and Imperium based on community feedback. Additionally, what the studio is working on a balance update to land just before the Charlotte event to further refine the competitive experience, which the Charlotte Major, which kicks off year two of Halo Infinite's HCS esports side of things, will be at the end of February. So my expectations would be that we'd likely see this update coming out probably early February at the absolute latest probably February 14th and while we're on the topic of HCS events guys we should be getting a roadmap according to the head of HCS Tashi right here saying that look for the full roadmap in January again this will most likely be at the end of January but as soon as we get the information I'll share with you guys here on the channel and while we're on the topic of February guys we should be seeing the new event coming in which is going to be the joint ops event which is going to be bringing in some more Halo Reach era customization specifically the JFO helmet and it's associated parts that come with it and this was confirmed by 343 at the end of the year live stream that i saw before the game even launched yeah. it's, it's yet to come out where is it how am i going to get that content we're trying to get it out in a uh, an, an event okay yeah we're trying to get it out in february um i'm hopeful that we will be able to do it we do have a stockpile of unallocated reach content and the mm -hmm. team is developing a plan to get that into your hands sooner rather than later, hopefully, um, via gameplay. So very cool. So then after February brings March, which brings our first new season in 10 long months of season two, which brings season three, which is gonna be quite exciting. As season three will be the start of a true cadence of seasonal content coming into Halo Infinite, as 343 stated in that live stream, saying that there'll be no more long seasons for Halo Infinite. Every season moving forward is gonna be at the cadence 
that they promised us before the launch of the game. And Season 3 is going to be an absolutely massive update. As 343 stated, they'll be bringing Forge maps into matchmaking. We'll also have dev maps being able to be forged. We'll see a remake within Forge of Halo 5's Plaza, which is one of the best maps from that game. A new main menu, finally. We'll have a new watchdog coding that'll be a better representation of what we saw before the launch of Halo Infinite. The SPI armor core is going to be the seasonal core. The Chimera core which is going to be the fracture core, which we already talked about a little bit in previous videos here. We'll see the bandit rifle, which is going to be the DMR without a scope, essentially, coming into the game. Some new maps of Arena and BTB. And a new bit of equipment called the Shroud Screen, which is going to be kind of like a smoke screen, but Halo version of it. Another promised pre launch feature that's finally coming into the game for season three will be ray tracing. This will finally get a chance to showcase the Xbox Series X performance as well as PC. If you're curious what it looks like, well, here it is. Halo Infinite will now support ray trace shadows across arena and big team battle modes, and players with AMD hardware will notice improved lighting, sharper shadows, and increased performance on RX 7000 series platforms with ray tracing acceleration. DXR will be available in season three. Now, this feature most likely will be something you use more in campaign and more immersive experiences. I wouldn't use it within the multiplayer as they showcase it there, so it would be less of an impact on the visuals. But if you try to do it within campaign, I guarantee it'll increase the visual fidelity a lot. With Season 3, we should also see more cross-core customization. As stated by Sarah, just saying cross-core equipment and partial support within Season 3. So things like torso, hip, helmet, and wrist attachments will become available for cross-core in Season 3. But not everything, as 343 did state that they would have to probably go down to an individual piece level to make it cross-core available. Now, some coatings will also become available. Nothing specifically has been mentioned. But cross-core customization isn't going to be like a flick of the switch, like one flip, one season update, and oh my god, everything's available for every core. This is going to be a gradual process as each different type of customization needs to be tailored to look pr proper for each core. But we could see some helmet customization coming in here really soon, guys, possibly for Season 3. As with the December update, we saw some Mark 7 helmets being able to be placed on top, let's say, like the Halo Reach Mark 5B or the Yoroi set as well. So it looks like there will be some form of cross core customization already in the code that could be available for us to tinker around with. Though this is probably the early access stuff we've seen this previously happen with the bots in Halo Infinite where they kind of had early access to cross core customization that we eventually got. Also, with the December update, we saw a big change to mouse and keyboard, essentially giving it aim assist, which was an unintended bug but the community seemed to be overwhelmingly happy about it that they kept it in the game and they're kind of monitoring it to see whether or not this is going to be a positive change for the game personally i've been really enjoying mouse and keyboard update i've actually been playing just mouse and keyboard since the december update and i feel like i'm finally able to keep up with controller players though i wouldn't be surprised if we see the friction or the aim assist toned down a bit with season three of course once we get some concrete information i'll share with you guys here on the channel now i'm sure many of you remember this infamous roadmap here which showcased the new mode a VIP and Escalation coming into Halo Infinite. But I think we'll have something else coming in with Season 3. The fan favorite action sack might be coming in as Zach Boyce, right here, who is the multiplayer game designer at 343, says they had a different idea for action sack, particularly when we start getting our hands on wild stuff the community makes in Forge. Now, as we covered previously, that Forge maps will be coming into the matchmaking, most likely a Forge map playlist, so we could see this also coming in with Season 3. I'm not quite sure how flexible 343 would be to making something like this if they can make the matchmaking playlist for forge maps as well as an action sack forge feature thing or if both at the same time together we'll just have to wait and see so as season three comes to a close in june guys that's the time of the year we will see the xbox bethesda games showcase now the reason why i'm gonna highlight this one is this could be the biggest announcement we could see for halo infinite throughout the entirety of the year halo infinite was a complete no show at the 2022 show and looking in hindsight we can kind of understand why but this xbox bethesda showcase i believe will be the time where we finally get the actual reveal of the battle royale mode rumored at least to be tatanka as credible leaker Asia did state that it looks like it's gonna be 2024 is when we could see the launch of tatanka but the original news was going to be that the end of 2023 is when we would see the battle royale come in so i would expect to see early 2024 which would fall in within that 12 month period that xbox bethesda stated in their last showcase that they didn't want to overextend the hype for games and kind of blow things up out of proportion kind of like what we had with halo infinite as we waited like three years for the game to finally come out now what we know of 
love to talk it so far, guys, as it's been an entire year of leaks and rumors of this thing. So this is going to be a one-stop shop for everything you want to know about this Battle Royale mode, which is going to be a game changer for the community of Halo. They stated that this is going to be a newcomer-friendly experience to Halo. So it's something that's not going to be too familiar with Arena or BTB, but something that grabbed fans from games like Fortnite, Warzone, Apex Legends. It's a talk will feature a shrinking zone that over time will make it so that the last team surviving wins. And it also looks like it will be having drop pods, which can be coordinated with teams as well. And to talk will also add in additional features that you wouldn't expect to see in a normal battle royale, as an AI most likely will be in this kind of similar to what we see with Warzone 2, where you go after side objectives that have AI to gain yourself better loot. But the difference is with Halo AI, it's way more interesting and dynamic compared to what Warzone 2 has to offer. And it does look like there will be some form of a player ability to earn respawn tokens. It's probably like a way to drop back in, maybe like a gulag-like system or some way to call your teammates back in like you can in Apex Legends. The Taka will also tie into the Forge mode of Halo so people can create their own experiences if they like. But it also stated that Tatanka will have its own dedicated progression system on top of like the battle pass and challenge progression that's currently within Halo Infinite more on career rank and challenge progression later in this video. It looks like the playlist offerings will be solos, duos, and quads, nothing too exciting there. Most likely we'll have a max player size of 100, though 60 player versions of the mode have been discovered. And it does seem like the mode will have an execution, revival, bleed out mechanics that we've seen in Battle Royale modes, but will feed off of a life pool kind of thing. So maybe something similar that we see with attrition where it's more down to you, your team has like 15 respawns you can have, we might be seeing this as something similar where like with a squad of four, maybe each player gets one revive and then, but if one player goes down, you can use your revives to revive that player back. But if they go down again, you can bring them back, but it will dwindle down your amount of respawns you have within the mode. And it does seem like there'll be a loot table like your traditional battle royales will have, but there will be things like gear caches, places to upgrade weapons, repair damaged vehicles, and that there will be operations you can discover, things like capture of supply runs, destroy, and hoard were things that were found within the leaks. Again, these are all leaks and rumors, but but rather credible leaks and rumors, and we'll definitely get some concrete information about Tatanka with this Xbox Bethesda showcase in June. And talking about June, at the end of the month, we'll have season four finally released for us. And some leaked information showcasing two maps of Engine, BTB map, and Beltway being an arena map coming in with season four. And as we covered in the channel previously throughout this year, guys, the map like Beltway, we here, some of the information saying that it'd be taking place in a human and urban environment Think of a mix between Turf from Halo 2 and Perdition from Halo 4 for the global art and layout. For the map engine, they say there's not a whole lot really about this map, but they do expect it to be kind of similar to the Halo 4 Spartan Ops mission for times it comes to mission type and environment. And we covered these images previously as they were leaked images showcasing early builds of maps. Now, at first, I thought these were kind of just, you know, forged fake leaks, but then when I looked at them now, in hindsight, these are rather credible, as you can see this map right here definitely looks like Argyle that we have within Halo Infinite. And at the bottom, well, this map definitely looks like Detachment, very early versions of it. So these other leaks could be very accurate. And with the map Beltway being an overgrown kind of environment, that's, you know, Forerunner urban environment, how overgrown does this early build look? So this could be the arena map that we're looking at for Beltway. And keep in mind that these are internal names that are most likely going to change at the final release. We can also see this map called Chasm coming into Halo Infinite either within the season three or season four. This image was leaked out back in November when we covered it previously on the channel here. So there is no concrete information from the leakers or data miners about when this map will come into the game, but it looks pretty much done. So we could see it relatively soon. Now for all you forgers out there, a big update is coming in. You'll be able to have water you can place on the map within season four as well which if you've been going through any of the forge maps right now you can see that some people have been coming up with some unique ways to create water within forge but now we're actually going to have it within season four but there are two big modes i definitely need to talk to you guys about with season four and that's extraction and infection and i believe these modes are going to be tied in a certain way let me explain here's some leaked audio from extraction Extraction device converted. Extraction initiated. Extraction. Converting device. Sight armed. Spore mound arming. Extraction. Multiple sites active. So yeah, the mention of a spore mound, well, that sounds kind of interesting, which if any of you have been paying attention to the Halo leaks throughout the year, you've probably seen an image of this spore mound coming in with Halo Infinite. These are different leaks that we've seen. Uh, nothing concrete has been stated by 343, though highly likely that this would be attached to the extraction game mode. And it's been stated that extraction 
distraction is going to be like a PvE type of mode where if a squad of four jumps into these standard multiplayer maps that are going to be retooled for this experience. And the rumors are there might be some way to tie in some story elements to this whole thing as well. We'll see how lightly that is. Or extraction might be a way to utilize narrative events within Halo Infinite. Again, we'll have to wait until we get some concrete information about that. And known insider B right here talks about the wave going into Forge for Season 4, as in the Flood for go be forgeable within Season 4. And we've already seen some gameplay of Infection within Halo Infinite utilizing bots. So I have a feeling you classic Infection fans might be pretty excited with Season 4 for Halo Infinite. And then the round the year off, guys, we have Season 5 most likely coming around in early November, probably lasting in about early February. And this season is when I would expect to see the career progression that was mentioned by Sean Barry and said that it could be coming the next season or so, which would make sense to implement the career progression system before you release the Battle Royale, causes big influx of players to come in. It might be a match beta XP system like we have right now for Halo Infinite, but with career career rank. And with Season 5, we could see the maps of Forbidden, which is a BTB map, as well as Crystal Caves with an arena map, which according to Bathrobe Spartan, Crystal Cave is going to be a cave full of crystals. Big surprise there, but it might be taking place within an alien world where it's been used to extract Needler ammunition, which I would be extremely happy about this because it seems like most of the maps within Halo Infinite focus much more on a UNSC art style and not hold out with like the banished or with like any kind of covenant type of alien structures. So lean a little bit more into that sci-fi kind of thing yeah that'd be pretty awesome and if you refer back to this leaked early builds of maps this is likely crystal caves right here so we'll have some form of a track with some kind of cool purple looking kind of attaches again like this is probably where you get your needler ammunition from and even though we talked about the more likely release time of tatanka this would be possibly the absolutely the earliest we could see Tatanka release would be within like early November for season five. Would be a perfect time as at the end of the year. Usually you want one big update at the end of every year to kind of like re-releasing the game in a way. Credible insiders have stated that we could see this at the end of 2023, but I would expect to see early 2024. And just because I have the information, I'm going to spoil you guys into 2024 early season with season six. And for season six, we should see the maps of Frigate and Forest. Now it is listed as Forest as a BTB map, but later down here Serration does say that a force is actually an arena map it was just a typo again if you've been paying attention to all the leaked images and news on the channel here guys you've probably seen this map shown around a few times within halo rumor has it that it might be an avalanche inspired map but nothing guaranteed yet where current leaks say that forest right here is taking place within a forest environment with constructs and structures within the forest kind of self-explanatory there if you think of the map guardian but kind of a remix of that now if you guys want to know some information about the spi core and and Chimera cores coming in with Season 3 of Halo Infinite. Rumor has it, some Halo 5 armor might be coming in. If you guys want to know more about it, check it out right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.